right, we're going through number seven out of ten of the top ten picking patterns that I think you should learn when you're just starting to get uh, to be able to play picking patterns. This is the first step. I want you to be able, I want you to, be able to play every style in, um, with picking patterns. So this one is number seven, and it's going to start with a four string pattern. You play D, D minor, F major, diminished, the diminished chord, this one. Um, other chords that have bass notes with on the fourth string. Okay, so this D is going to sound like this. It's going to go one, four, three, one, four, two, three, one, four, three, one together, four, two, three, one, four. 3 1 together, 4 2 3 1 4 3 1 together, 4 2 3 1. So that's thumb, thumb and second finger, thumb 1, thumb 2, thumb, thumb and second finger, thumb 1, thumb 2, like that. If you're just watching this for the first time and you want to uh, have a refresher on um, the basics of picking patterns and the progression that you should learn them in, um, as well as some things to think about, about how to isolate different parts of the guitar so you're not um, having to use multiple, uh, do multiple things at the same time, like if you're using the left hand or the right hand, if you have questions like that, Look at the first video in this series, it's called Introduction to Picking Patterns. So this is the first pattern. And the tip up goes like this. It's one, two, three, and four, and 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 one, two, three, and four, and... So these are quarter notes, uh, eighth notes, and when we're doing eighth notes, we're skipping two of them. So we're going one, skip, we go one, and two, and three, and four, and, and we're actually just skipping those one and two and we're skipping the ands on the one and the two. So one, two, three and four and one, two, three and four and one, two, three and four and one, two. And if I was using a metronome, if I was using a metronome, I would just have it beat on the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. play that nine or ten times and you go faster um, and that means you're, you're mem memorizing it you're able to, uh, to play it um, again isolate your uh, right hand if you're having trouble getting that and trying to add the chord also so just do the the four string pattern without the, the chord which would sound like this if I can play it right We're going to squish the fifth string pattern, which means we're moving all of our fingers up the string like this one, two, three, four, and switch. So it's five, three, five, four, two, five, three, four, two, five. Four, two, five, three, four, two. Same pattern, just moving your fingers up to one. Slow it down if you need to. So right now we're focusing on perfect playing. Perfect plucking. If we're not playing it perfectly, then slow it down. I can see I messed up there, so can't quite talk and play this one yet. That's the 
fifth pattern, and then we're going to go to the sixth pattern, which is just moving your bass note down. Everything else stays the same. So it's six, three, six, three, uh, what is it again? Six, four, two, six, three, four, two, six, four, two together, six, three, four, two, six, four, two together, six, three, four, two, six, four, two together, six, three, four, two, like that. And then switch back to the fifth pattern. Four pattern. Now we're going to add chords D. One more time, and then go to C. four-string pattern, five-string pattern, and six-string pattern as you switch along in the, the different progressions that you can play with your different fingers. Uh, I like that pattern a lot. That's number seven out of the top ten. And uh, at the end of these uh, lessons, the top ten lessons, I'll give you some different ways to mix and match different patterns as well as um, some other ideas as to how to improve and add your pick if you're going to strum with your picking, with your pick itself, you can actually use some of these with uh, going in between strumming and picking, and then you can also use a thumb pick if you'd rather you do that. So I'll show you some of those different uh, details after we finish the top ten. But next week is number eight out of ten. I'll see you next time.